Okay, so my next video is going to be a thread repair on the stem for my mountain bike. Um, the as you can see here, if I can zoom in, yeah, the thread here is um, pulled out, uh, probably because I've over tightened it. We're going to repair the thread using uh, this V coil thread repair kit. It, um, it's the M6 by one. We have the the drill and the tap. We have the uh, actual helicoid itself with the uh, winding in tool and then the last small blue tool is just for breaking the tang off which I'll show you later. When repairing threads it's not as difficult as some people think but you have to use the correct tool for the job. Uh, it, it, you have to use the correct size drill you have to use the correct size tap for the actual heli coil insert itself as long as you use these and use the proper tools for the job then you won't have an issue when you're drilling uh, to clean the thread out ready for tapping make sure you keep the drill perpendicular to the face so keep it square to the hole if you wander off at an angle, then when you put the heli coil in, it won't be strong. You need to clean the old threads out, ready for tapping. If you have a burr on the face, like I have you, then you can clean this off with a with a large drill. As it's only aluminium, if you turn this large drill in the hole, you can just turn it by hand just to clean the bird off and to give you a lead for your tap. I've set my tap up now in my tap holder. We need to use some tap cutting metal cutting fluid um, I use this RTD compound which is very good so we just need to put some of this on the tap and then we can tap the hole you know you can now tap the hole making sure that you keep the tap perpendicular to the face again keep it in line with the hole um, you don't want to cut the threads off at an angle so just take it easy on the first three threads there's no rush just make sure that you cut them properly if when you tap in it starts to get tight then take the tap back just a quarter of a turn just to cut the swarf off and then you can t continue to cut more threads this is quite easy cutting into aluminium. Um, it, it, it doesn't take much force to be able to turn the tap. As you can see, I'm just doing it with one hand because I'm holding the camera with the other. So just keep going down until you go through the hole. This hole goes through the, the to the other side um, and there's a large lead on this tap which is good. Uh, sometimes if you've got a blind hole then the tap doesn't go down far enough so that you can get the heli coil in which, which can be a problem. Now I've tapped all the way through the hole you can just remove the tap all the way out of the hole Remember to clean your, your tap uh, before you put it away. It'll be nice and clean for next time you want to use it. Now we want to put uh, the heli coil in. So 
we go, uh, I usually uh, lock tight the heli coil in. So before we lock, uh, glue it in, I clean it with some uh, brake cleaner just to take the oiliness away so that the glue sticks. Just need to put a little bit of Loctite. This is 641 retaining compound. So just need to put a little bit just on the outside of the threads just to keep it in place um, when you put it in. With, with the heli coil itself, we put it on the tool just with the tang on the bottom if you can see that through the slot on the tool we can then wind this into our into our hole that we've tapped We want to wind this down now until uh, there's no, there's nothing sticking up above the face. So it turns in quite easy. There we are. That's the heli coil fitted. And now we just need to break off the tang at the bottom with our tang breaker. We just put this in the hole and just give it a tap to break the tang off. Now our thread is fixed. The bolt screws nicely in and that's another part saved from being scrapped remember ev every job is always easier if you use the correct tools thanks